Hey YouTube and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Well, I'm back with my drone here and I figured out a few more things. Quite honestly, I haven't had a chance to use it a ton. It's been horrible weather around here, like down below zero. Just bad weather. And I've tried taking it outside, honestly, a couple times and the wind just blows it away. So I think to use this outside, you definitely, it's too light for a real windy day. I still think it'll probably do okay if you have plenty of open space and not a ton of wind, which is difficult to find around my area, to be honest. So I'm going to go through, we're going to be inside the house again, and I'm going to go through a few of the features of how to hook it up to your phone and do video and those kind of things. So uh, without further ado, here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is answer, answer some things that even though I answered them in that video, people did not watch the whole thing. So I got a lot of questions about it. And that's just kind of the setup, how to get it turned on and how to sync this remote with the drone. First of all, underneath here, if you push forward and lift up, that is where your battery goes in. Um, Pretty sure I showed that. I'm not sure positive if I did a good job of showing that, but that's where it goes in. It just plugs in and unplugs right here. This just kind of sits down inside there. It pushes in there. You got to get this just right down in here or it will be difficult to close. And then you push it all the way forward, push it down, and then push it back that way till it clicks. Be careful, if this isn't closed all the way right here, if you have a gap in this area, you didn't do it right. Next, we're going to turn it on, which is a switch right underneath here. Your lights will blind you and flash at you. And then you want the camera facing away from you. There's the camera lens right here. And the butt of it here, you want the butt facing towards you or the camera lens facing away from you. Then you want your remote facing directly in line with it the way it is there. You want the butt towards you, camera away from you. Then you're gonna turn on that. That kind of starts sinking it. It says, okay, see how the lights are flashing slower? It says, okay, I'm feeling it. I, I feel this next to me, but we haven't got going yet. You gotta go up and then it beeped and then back. And then it beeped. So I went forward and back and it bleeped and now we have no blinking lights that means that this is synced up next thing we're going to do to start it is bring these back and out so back and out which starts it back and out stops it okay so you got to hold on to it for a little bit sometimes before it starts so hopefully that answers the many, many, many questions about what I showed on that video. Sorry about being sarcastic but yet again. It is kind of difficult doing this, uh, trying to get everything in and people skipping, fast forwarding through everything or not waiting until the end to figure everything out. Sometimes you just got to watch a video all the way through before you ask questions. So please, if you have any questions, please watch this video all the way through. And if I don't answer them then, then ask me in the questions below. So here's a few things that I jotted down. Uh, first of all, you're gonna, there's a QR code in your instruction booklet. You can take your phone, zap on that, and it should download what you need into your phone. This is for both Android and Apple, it'll do that. What we did actually, because I wasn't even sure exactly where the book was anymore. I know I have it somewhere in this house, but I'm probably like 90% of you. I put things down and forget where they ended up. Anyway, we used the Play Store and searched Skyrider Cruise app. And that had that, and we downloaded it onto my phone here. Next, you're gonna make sure the Wi-Fi on your phone is on, because I rarely have it actually on. And we're gonna enable the drone and remote, get that all synced up and ready to go, like I showed you previously in this video. Then, from the phone, 
menu, search and save the Skyrider Cruise XXXX to connect to the drone. So, what that means, I don't know exactly what all that means, is you're going to search through and wherever it downloaded on your phone. Mine says Cruise, Skyrider Cruise, and it's a little yellow thing with a propeller on it. So, I don't know if yours will be the same, but that's what mine looks like on my phone. So we're going to go start up the remote and the drone. I'm going to get that set up. I'm going to kind of get it flying and make sure things are working with my phone here. And then I'll show you what my phone sees. We're going to put this, this, first of all, I probably should have, because I don't know as I showed this before. This comes in your kit. I showed this in the video, but I didn't put it on here. And there's just a little nub up here that this pushes onto. And then your phone will sit in there like that. And then right here is my Skyrider cruise thing. Push on that and it says start, but we're not ready to start yet. We're going to start it up like I told you in the beginning. I did it in the beginning because I knew people were going to quit watching this video at some point and then ask me that question. Then we're going to set it up so it's hooked in. Okay. So there we go. Now we are officially hooked up to the drone. Then we're going to hit start. And this will show you a bunch of different things up here. The, let's see here. This is where I got to remember things. We can video. So connecting the device, please connect the device. I did. Let's see if I got to start it up. There. All right. There we go. So there's that. <laughs> well, I might have to play with it a little bit to get it connected. Hold on. So now we've uploaded everything onto our phone. And then I had some problems and realized it was me on my phone. Instead of hooking to Wi Fi, I hooked to Bluetooth and didn't hook to the Wi Fi. So that's my first mistake. Next, we need to actually hook these together or sync them. So we're going to do that again. I already showed that in the beginning of this video. So if you fast forward through it and can't figure it out, that's your fault. All right, now we are sunk. Now, I'm going to put this on here and hope it's the right direction. All right. Now I'm going to go to that cruise thing. And I do have it the wrong direction. When it did the little doo 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 thing, that was telling me, hey, things should be working good. So now, I've got that the right direction. I'm going to hit start. Hopefully I'll hit this. And it's not working. I had this working not five minutes ago. So, so I'm going to try this one more time. I got it working again, but I don't know exactly what the difference is that I'm doing here. So honestly, I'm going to wait on this. I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi, go ahead and do Bluetooth. There we go. Then the Bluetooth thing says that. I don't know why. Um, and then I close it. Going to connect to this. It says it likes me. Then connect to this. And hopefully, yes, we have the ability to see where things are. You won't be able to see that very well probably in video. But what I am going to do now is actually fly this thing and do some recording, hopefully.
So, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, hopefully you got something out of it. If you enjoy videos like these, I do have uh, the new Harbor Freight one that should be coming up if it hasn't already come up. Uh, so go check that one out here in the near future or it's already out. So go check it out. Um, right now I'm putting these videos in my playlist under uh, products and reviews. Um, Right now my brain is not functioning, that's why I'm in here sitting in my chair trying to do a video. Uh, my body is not working right now. But regardless of that, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, go check out the rest of my videos. I have lots of DIY and homeowner DIY as well as automotive DIY. Um, several things like that. So go check out my playlist, I would appreciate it. That's the best way to find out all my different videos that I have. And uh, I'm sure there's something in there you can enjoy. Uh, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up because now they're saying that's how I make a little bit of money from these videos. So if you do that, I appreciate that too. All right, thanks for watching Junkworks DIY Garage, where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and obviously master none. You all have a good one.